This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. What I'm looking at today is 2018's The Strangers, Pray at Night. And this is a really good movie with a few issues. First off, it's based upon 2008's The Strangers, directed by Brian Bertino. The first problem with the 2008 movie was that it began with based on a true story. The Strangers is an example of that tendency, in which a movie based on supposedly a true incident goes so afield that it just gets irritating to watch. The problem I had with The Strangers was that the antagonists felt almost supernatural in the way they did things, and that bothers me a lot. First off, it's not a supernatural movie. It's just, in that instance, three people going around killing random people. Okay, fine, work with it. Now, with the movie, they appear and disappear with no sound seemingly like ghosts. As I said, it was almost supernatural. And that bothers me a lot because, again, based on a true story, but also, if your movie's gonna be a supernatural movie, make it a supernatural movie. I have no issue with that. Go for it. But when you claim to be based on a true story and people get into locked houses with no effort whatsoever and they appear behind you, somehow, and they're totally silent, not even breathing sounds from them. That bugs me a lot. And that was pretty much 2008's The Strangers. People doing things that they shouldn't be able to do. Once, and again, I have to repeat, if you want to have a movie where you have a bunch of people killing other people, more power to you. Heck, that's essentially Friday the 13th. Essentially, that's Halloween. But when they do it in such a way that it appears almost magical, then I have a problem. If you don't establish that, and that's the entirety of 2008 Strangers, bugs me. It's not a bad movie in terms of its direction, in terms of its production design. Its story and the way it goes about doing things, irritating. I cannot stand that movie. The 2018 movie directed by Johannes Roberts, who did 47 Meters Down, the sequel to that movie. He did Storage 24. Pretty good movies. Low budget, but well done and effective movies. And his take on The Strangers is so much more effective than the first movie. I like Strangers Pray at Night quite a bit. Now, it's not perfect. Well, nothing is. But it runs into problems when it takes a similar approach to the first movie, in that the antagonists just appear magically in places. And they do things that are so unlikely that it takes you out of the movie. It doesn't in this instance, because it doesn't happen nearly as often as the first movie. Roberts takes the movie in a more visceral direction, and the strangers are human, at least more human, in his movie. Which is to say, they're not immune to violence. In the first movie, they seem to be able to do essentially whatever they want, and you could do nothing to stop them. They were, it was almost like three versions of Michael Myers. And again, if that's the movie you want to make, more power to you. The problem is, that is not what Strangers was sold as, so it's bothersome. With the sequel, the characters are more human, and while the protagonists do stupid things, they do stupid things in all these movies, truth be told, but they do stupid, irritating things. On the whole, they're more fleshed out, they feel more real, and with the antagonists not being essentially ghosts, popping up in, well, not as often, popping up in ways and places they should not be able to do. It's just a much more efficient, enjoyable movie. So if you haven't seen The Strangers, Pray at Night, check it out. It's actually really good. Johannes Roberts is a step up from the prior director, who I might also mention, wrote this movie. And it just works better. 
This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Peace.